हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट्स एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी डेवलप सो मेनी क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट्स एज ऑफ नाउ एंड वी ऑल नो ए क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट इज वन इन विच वी आर डिस्प्लेइंग द आउटपुट यूजिंग राइट स्टेटमेंट now you can take any of the program which you developed so far it is totally totally your wish because now whatever the topic we will discuss it is a common topic you can apply this topic in any of the program which you developed suppose i will run this program i am taking this join program in which we put a join query and we displayed the output i am running the program you can take any of the program it's total your wish now what customer is saying yes data of six columns is perfectly fine this output is perfectly fine but i want now field labels i want now column labels i want yes this data is for order number this data is for pay order date this data is for payment mode this column data is for currency this column data is for order item number this column data is for item cost so now i want field label i want column label so that we can understand that this data belongs to which particular column so this is our topic how to give field label or column labels in classical reports suppose i will go to back button now i can not give the column label or field label inside the loop statement this simple understanding suppose our internal table has 20 record it means loop will continue how many time 20 times it means your column label will print how many time 20 times but this is not our requirement column label or field label is only one time activity column labels should be at the top of the data itself so it is one time activity so we will give the column label and it should be above the loop it should not be inside the loop so i will give the labels i will go for right now suppose first column label is order number now just calculate the length of order number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 now 12 is occupied by the label order number it means after that only we can start with the next label but we want some space also in between order number and order date suppose we will give a space of 2 you can go for more than 2 also it's your wish it's totally totally your wish so 12 is occupied by order number suppose we will give a space of 2 so 12 plus 2 14 is reserved so we will start with the next label from 15 you can give any much it depends upon you how much space you want to give suppose next label will start from 15 what is next label order date order date now we will calculate the length 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 so 24 so our second label will finish on 24 so then we need to give a space of 2 also so 24 plus 2 26 and we'll start the next label from 27 suppose 27 is payment mode so our payment mode will start from 27 
So till 38, our payment mode will finish. We'll give a space of 2, 38 plus 2, 40. It means our next label will start from 41. What is our next label? Currency. We'll give currency. Forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight. So our currency will finish on forty-eight. We will give a space of two. So forty-eight plus two fifty. So our next will start from fifty-one. Suppose from fifty-one, we start with order item number. Suppose I will write order I number. So look, we will give full. Order item number. Now, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. So till 63, our order item number will finish. Then we will give a space of 2. So 63 plus 2, 65. So our next label will start from 66. And next is our item cost. That is our last label. And we will put dot. It's totally, totally your wish, which label you want to give and how much space you want to give after label. But just calculate the length of the previous label. Its label should not override. I'll check the syntax and I will activate the program. I will run the program. I will give the input. Now you can see our labels are perfectly fine. First label, space of two order date, space of two payment mode, space of two currency, space of two order item number, space of two item cost. But have you seen data is not aligning with the columns? Order number, okay, data is fine. But order date data is not appearing below order date. Payment mode data is not appearing below payment mode. Currency data is not, currency data is not appearing below currency. Item number is not appearing below item number. Item cost is not appearing below item cost. Customer will not accept this kind of output. It is a very confusing output for the customer. So how we can resolve this error? We have a keyword under, under. This is the data of order number. We'll simply, simply use the word under. Under is a keyword. So this order number data will display under which particular label order number this is our first label now this order date data will appear under which which column order date now this payment mode data it will appear under which column payment mode we'll write under here also, I need to use the word under. Now, currency. Currency data will appear below which particular column, under which column? Under. This is the column, currency. Now, we will go for order item number, under. Order item number. Now we will go for item cost under item cost. So this is the way your data will be perfectly under that particular column. I will go for activation. Now if I will show you the output. Yeah. 
you can see now the data is properly aligned under each and every column so this is the way how you can provide the labels in the classical report how you can provide the field label or column labels in classical report and if data is not aligning properly with the columns you have to use the word under under which particular column label or field label you want to print the data in the next video we will learn what is the best way to provide these labels so that's it in this particular video thank you